This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. With our cross tabs, we will look shortly at changing the formatting and doing a bit of formatting on the actual cross tab report itself. But this lesson is just a quick look at dealing with months. When you group by months using the raw data that has been supplied to your crosstab, the month will invariably appear in this format. Month slash year, month slash year, month slash year, month slash year, etc. all the way through your report. Here we're using the sample underscore crosstab within groupings. Classic Govmug, so April, August and November. What sometimes is better if for presentation purposes, we'd like to change that month number to a month name. Now we can do that inside the crosstab expert. Right click, in this case, although there are many crosstabs, it's the same crosstab because it's just been repeated in different groupings, being filtered each time differently. So we're going to the crosstab expert. It's this field here that we want to change slightly. In the group options, we've told it to group by each month, which is fine. But what we want to do is get it to display the month name. So under the options, we can customize the group field name and we can use a formula. So into our X2 brings up the much visited formula workshop and we'd like to display the month name, which is actually a function in Crystal Reports based on the date closed field. Close brackets. Check everything's okay. Save and close. There was an error in the formula. My mistake. Although we're asking for the month name of this field here, the month name requires the month number. So we actually have to embed another function inside there called the month function. So it works out the month first, then works out the month name of that month. This time it's happy. Save and close. So we're using a formula here as the group name. It's gone red, pencil at 45 degrees. OK, that's affected this section here, which is what will be displayed in each row. OK, and now we have the month name rather than the number of the month. So aesthetically, that's a little bit more pleasing. So that's group expert. Select the field that is being grouped on that you want to change. Group options, options, user formula. And we use the formula month name and month. So month of the field generates the month number, month name of the generated month number returns the correct month number. Save and close, OK and OK, and we see that in effect on our crosstab.